All right, today we are going to be doing lesson one of the modeled and guided practice. So make sure that you have your reading book. This is second grade, so make sure you have your green reading book. And today we are going to page 12. So go ahead and turn your books to page 12 and you should see this story. It's called Rabbit's Cozy Homes. Before we get started, I wanted to make sure that you remember the standard that we're working on. Does anybody remember? From yesterday, we are asking and answering questions about key details. Remember, a key detail is a piece of important information that you can find in the text or in a picture. So remember, we are working on RI 1.1, asking and answering questions of who, what, where, when, and why to get information from key details in our text. So make sure that you are on page 12. Before we get started, I'd like for you to look at the photo down here. Now, yesterday we had a real photo and I want you to look at today's. Do you think that today's photo is a real photo or did somebody make it? If you said somebody made it, they, uh, <clears throat> they definitely did. This is a photo that has been created, okay? So before we get started, I want you to look at the photo and Think of some things that you notice. Do you see the sky? Do you see the earth? What do you see right below the earth? What do you see right above the soil? But deep down inside of the earth, what is here? We have two things that we'll be learning about today. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start reading our title and the author. It is always so important for you to read the title and the author. So our title today is Rabbit's Cozy Homes. So just thinking about the title and looking at the picture, what kind of connection can we make? I see the word rabbits in the title. Do you see any rabbits here in the picture? If the answer is yes, you just made a connection. I see the word cozy and homes. So they're talking about rabbits in their cozy homes. So do you think that their homes are above the soil or below the soil? If you said below, you were right. The rabbits cozy homes are down here and cozy implies to me that they actually like living there. So it's comfortable for them. Okay, this text was written by author Kent. Author Kent. So here we go. Paragraph one, you see you have one, two, three paragraphs. So we're gonna read paragraph by paragraph. I will always tell you the paragraph number that we're on just in case you get lost. If it helps you as well, you can take a piece of paper and cover your lines line by line. So let's do that as we read together. Paragraph one. What animal has long ears and a short fluffy tail? A rabbit, of course. These small furry creatures live in meadows. They also live in forests and deserts. Rabbits live in holes in the ground. A rabbit hole is called a burrow. It is used for sleeping and caring for kits or baby rabbits. Rabbits make their homes cozy with grass, feathers, and fur. Living deep in the ground keeps rabbits safe from their enemies. Paragraph three. Rabbits spend most of the day in their burrows. They come out at dawn and dust to find food. On warm sunny days, they may come out more often. You might see them sitting in your garden. Now a good reader always reads the story twice. So before we start on the next page, I want to read it again. This time I'll read it a little faster. Paragraph one, what animal has long ears and a short fluffy tail? A rabbit, of course. These small furry creatures live in meadows. They also live in forests and deserts. Paragraph two, rabbits live in holes in the ground. A rabbit hole is called a burrow. Keep that in mind. It is used for sleeping and caring for kits or baby rabbits. Rabbits make their homes cozy with grass, feathers, and fur. Living deep in the ground keeps rabbits safe from their enemies. Paragraph three, 
Rabbits spend most of the day in their burrows. They come out at dawn and dusk to find food or in the morning and in the evening. On warm sunny days, they may come out more often and you might see them sitting in your garden. All right, so I have a few questions for you and I just want you to think about them and answer them in your head. Number one is what is this article about? What is this article about? If you said anything from rabbits cozy homes to what the burrows are used for, you are right. Number two is what does a burrow look like? I want you to find where the burrow is in this picture and circle it with your pencil. Number three is why do rabbits come out of their burrows at dawn and dusk? I want you to look in paragraph three and underline why rabbits come, home, come out at dawn and dusk. All right, so we're gonna go and move to page 13. Before I do, I want you to think about what kind of questions we are talking about. We're talking about who, what, where, and how today. So who was in the story, what were they doing, where were they, and we need a how question as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to page 13. Okay, so if you see down the side, you have who, what, where, and how. I want you to read those when I point to them. Who, what, where, how. Okay, so these are called rows. They go across just like you sit in a theater. Then we have columns. We have two columns that we have to fill out today. The first one is ask questions. I want you to say ask questions. This is where we're going to put the questions we are asking. Then we have a column that says answer questions. This column is where we're going to do the answers to those. All right, so the first three we are going to do together and the last one you're going to do all by yourself, okay? Are you ready? Of course you are because you're smart cookies. All right, so here is our first question. It starts with who? Who lives in holes in the ground? Hmm, where could we find that answer? Go back into your text in paragraph two. So go back into your text in paragraph two. Like I said, we're going to do these ones together. So look at paragraph two. Our question was, who lives in holes in the ground? The answer is, rabbits live in holes in the ground. Rabbits live in holes in the ground. So going back here, let's see if we were right. Rabbits, excellent job. So we know that rabbits live in holes in the ground. All right, let's look at our what question. What word is our question going to start off with? What? Let's look at our second one. What do rabbits do? Hmm, what do they do? What are some things that you learned from the article? You could have said any of these. They make homes, have babies, stay safe, and sit in the garden. So they can, they do make homes, they have babies, they stay safe, and they sit in the garden. I want you to choose just one of these to put for your answer, just one, not all of them. Our next question is going to say where. So what is our question going to start with? If you said where, you are correct. It says, where do rabbits live? Go back into your text and look at where 
rabbits live. You might want to look in paragraph two. I'll read it to you. Rabbits live in holes in the ground. A rabbit hole is called a burrow. It is used for sleeping and caring for kits or baby rabbits. Rabbits make their homes cozy with grass, feathers, and fur. Living deep in the ground keeps rabbits safe from their enemies. So where do rabbits live? In holes in the ground is the answer. I found that in paragraph two on the very first line. Paragraph two on the very first line. Go ahead and underline that for me. Now the last question, you are going to find the answer yourself. The question is, how do rabbits use a burrow? How do rabbits use a burrow? I want you to find that in your text. That is your assignment for the end. Find that in your text, okay? When we meet, I'd like to see all eight of these boxes filled up.